doing this evening, Alvin? What, yes. get her married? Huh? We finna get her married? Or no, you know, White Castle got a special. And I'm, oh. trying, I'm try, yes. trying to find a date. Um, it's Tuesday. You can go to Church of Chicken. Church of Chicken? Really? Yeah. Popeye. That, are you Popeye's like, either. Oh, now, two for $2. You oh, know what see, man? now y'all, I don't, I don't make that kind of money. That Popeye's money, I don't know. But they got the uh, two-piece. Uh, two-piece special. Oh, that's right. It's Tuesday, right? Right. Oh, okay. Two-piece two Tuesday. Really? Yeah. 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 Uh, let me check a my... A piece for her and a piece <laughs> for you. <laughs> right. The biscuit, that's a full bill. <laughs> but I, I'm keeping the side. Yeah, oh, she, you keep that. So, oh, thank you, thank you, sweetie. Because oh, times are hard, side, <laughs> and oh, I didn't, I didn't reload my link card. Uh, so, listen, you, uh, use your uh, venture card. My venture, that, yeah. okay. <laughs> That's true. Oh, it is no. a So, you, why, why you think men? I mean, there's a plethora of reasons why men don't don't marry the lady. Okay, have you made your own list of why you think men don't marry? No, I actually haven't. You haven't I thought about it. I didn't. I haven't thought about it because my. My look on it is I don't want to marry somebody that's not ready for me. That's okay. Okay. That's I don't okay. want to marry someone that that God hasn't sent for me. Sure. I that's mean, I've been engaged. Sure. Uh, and I I thank the Lord for deliverance <laughs> <laughs> from that relationship. Wow. Because And we know, still friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, dang, you, it was yeah. to you. I'm sorry. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> Yeah, truly joking. But no, um, you never let me go. Wow. <laughs> wow. I thought I could make a cuss oh, since, we up here. since we up here. Go ahead, cuss girl. Go ahead. I'm, take the wheel. I'm not going to even go there with you. No. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it's a matter of preference, I guess. You know, I don't know um, Hold why some Let me men... say this. I'm so glad you said that. Preference? It's a matter of preference. She understands her worth, as we talked about yesterday. That's true. She understands who's who has the power. I'm not going to. He settle. has to ask, but she has to agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. And and when if you look at it in the biblical perspective, I want to be equally yoked. I okay. want you what to does have. That mean? Oh goodness! Well, no, well, no I'm serious. Yeah. Equally Same yoked. Amount of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I need for you to have a relationship with God just like I have a relationship with God. I need us to understand our roles in the relationship and the marriage. Um, so on and so forth. Okay. You know. Okay. That, that I'm not I don't I'm not gonna go to I wanna I want us to worship together. I see. Okay. I you know, I want us to do things as God would have us, as has he as he ordained the relationship to be. Okay. okay. All right. But does that answer the question? Why do you think men don't want to marry you? Want to marry, period? Yeah. They just want to do... Men look at the ring as a as a handcuff. Oh, wow. It's okay. round. Uh-huh. It's like a handcuff. So I'm, I'm locked into you. I'm tied into you forever. Uh-huh. I can't continue to do me. I can't continue to do what I want to do. Sure. Okay. I can't... Sleep with Mary Sue, Sally, and their sister and cousin. Okay, I'm with you forever. Oh yeah, you know, and and that's the morals of our society today. That scares him. Huh? It, it scares him, or or he's looking and listening to his friends. Sure, man, you don't do that. Right, right. You ain't ready to come kick it. Right, you know, when he when if you all have a true understanding. He's not necessarily gonna want to come still kick it, okay? With the with the same people that are doing foolishness. Sure, I've settled down. I've got this mindset that this is my wife, mm-hmm. and she's my helpmeet. And I'm I, what do I need the world for when I've got everything I need right here? Mm. That's kind of deep, Alvin. Yeah, it is kind of deep. Well, he, here's a list here of, of what we mentioned yesterday. The reasons read here. The reasons why a man won't marry you. Number one, uh, you have been reduced to begging him. Uh, number two, uh, he's waiting for the right time. Uh, number three, he suggests a trial period. Uh, number four, an engagement with no, he sets an engagement. Well, he, he proposes to you, but there's no date for the wedding. Uh, number five, if there is a wedding date, he winds up rescheduling the date. Uh, number six, he likes free milk. And we've given different types of milk, Alvin. <laughs> Powdered milk. Goat's milk. 
Silk. <laughs> Almond milk. <laughs> okay. Similac. Yeah. He, he, or he's lactose intolerant. He just, uh, you haven't laid with him. Now, that's for the ones who are very active. Um, that this is something that we, that really there's men who, because you you have not given up, given up the cookie, he's not going to marry you until that happens. I want some milk and cookie. <laughs> <laughs> him downstairs. <laughs> 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 he is uh, terrified of the whole forever part. Yes. Yes. Um, he uh, witnessed too much divorce in his life. Uh, he doesn't. Oh, no. Mm-hmm, he, he doesn't want to share half. Um, you are too much in debt. You, you got your credit report. Well, what so, about his debt? Well, it was not about him. It was about why he ain't don't want to marry you. Or you're angry. You're very bitter, a bitter woman. Is that you? No. Okay, I didn't think it was you. Cause you you just you smile every time I see you. Now I don't know about Alvin when you see him. She she frowns. She scowls. <laughs> I think I scowl because of our history. <laughs> what I history? think about how we met. <laughs> oh, you need to that, clarify that we on the radio. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of how we met at at a, a certain place we used to work. No, that, that traumatic. Oh, it was traumatic. But it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I know, but just you, you wow. associated with it. It was traumatic. That's something else. Okay, so Melanie, we were talking about women and the history of women and them working, okay, opposed to being home homework. Are you a worker? Do you work? You a professional yes. woman? Yes. Are you, do you mind telling us what you do? I am a teacher. I'm a second grade teacher really? as well as an on-air radio personality. Okay, so you consider that work, right? It's, it is because mm-hmm. you get a paycheck. Yes. Okay. Um, have you ever been a homemaker? No, no. I've always worked, and I don't think that I would ever be a homemaker. Why? Because I, the work ethic was instilled in me early in life. From who? My parents. Your parents. Both my father and my mother. And I've been working as long as... as when I was able to count money. Really? What about people who want to stay home? I think they're lazy. So you saying that, that homemakers or, or stay-at-home moms are lazy? Not necessarily stay-at-home mom. You know, if I think women who choose, not necessarily that are, are, are stay-at-home mothers, but women who choose not to work, I think, you know, anything can happen. Your husband can lose his job. Then where's your income com- Where's the income coming from? If this was taught by your parents? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we, we we were a united family. You know, everybody in our house worked. So you're saying that there are a lot, all these, there's thousands of women who stay at home and their husbands have good jobs, and then and and he's been working. But if you look at today's economy, so it should change because be a, of today's be a economy. Real, be a realist. Because if you're a realist, if you all, I'm not saying that they haven't necessarily saved, mm-hmm. um, a, appropriately, mm-hmm. but. With the way society is going, our savings isn't even enough to sustain us. I see. And the way they're trying to cut this, that, or the other, mm-hmm. you know, heaven forbid, what if your husband passes? <coughs> okay. So Then what, what are you going to do? Well, what, what worked back in the day when the husband did pass and the women, you know, uh, they were working? I mean, shouldn't a husband be able to put something away for, for his passing? We do have life insurance. Yeah. But nine times out of ten, if if they have a life insurance policy, mm-hmm. it's going to go to bury the husband or bury oh. whomever is, is on. Oh, no. I know people who have a million-dollar life insurance policy. That's not everybody, though. That's just true. So why can't he just have that and then uh, she don't have to work? I mean, because some women don't. So you're saying that a woman, because she's a woman, she have to work. I'm not saying that she has to work. It's something that I choose to do. But I sound like you alluded to her having to do that. No, I'm I'm just saying, but re, when we look at reality, okay, anything can happen. My question situations was can change. No, true. I'm just, true. Your your question yeah. was reality, yeah. but situations can change. Right, right. So anything she should have, have something, something to fall to back fall on. Back on. Okay. Correct. Okay. Just like with with our jobs, right. we should have something to fall back on. Sure, sure. You have any children? My daughter's deceased. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry about that. Thanks. How, how how long ago was this? Four years. Four years. How old was she? Four. She was four years old. Yes. Um, you 
are you? Did I have life insurance on her? No, 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 no. I wasn't going there, <laughs> but you you answered it. Um, any any you think you're gonna have any more? I don't know. You know, so I, don't I haven't know. haven't haven't thought about that. Mm. So how before her before her uh, uh, her, her demise, unfortunately, uh, how how had you planned on raising her? Did, were you planning on raising her independent, where she didn't need a man? No, I planned on raising her to understand her value okay, and to understand the woman's role in a relationship I see, and a woman's role in life, but not to be dependent on a man. Okay. Okay. So she should, she should, she should have some sense of independence, Correct. but she should also uh, have some sense of knowing how to take care of a man. Correct. Or being take care, or be taken care of from correct, America. correct. Okay, okay. Alvin, you agree with that upbringing? Yes. Yeah, I believe that um, a woman should be prepared for anything. Okay, and be prepared to do whatever is needed. Okay. I mean, that's why God created her for Adam. True. Yeah, yeah. That's that's true. Y'all, we have a phone number here if you want to call in. Oh uh, yeah. This is something that uh, we don't get down in the basement. <laughs> we don't get that in the lower b- bells of the welly, of the, the belly of the uh, the whale. That is three one two seven five four four three 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 one two error code seven five four forty three thirty three. If you want to, if you're a woman, okay, yeah? ladies, you, <laughs> please. And I'm talking about real women, okay, real women. My if name you, is Billy, <laughs> not Billy yet, but, but call in if you want to talk about. Uh, the difference between the home um, maker <laughs> and the uh, the woman who's professional, you know. And again, I think uh, are there any homemakers out there? Well, uh, my mom is, and she she raised nine boys. She's from a different era. Yeah, a what, modern no. day homemaker. Oh, oh so I don't, I'm trying to see where's the difference. You see, because back back when my parents were coming up, they had still s- economical situations and issues the same way we have today. But then, yeah. if you look at at yeah, yeah, is this mic on? The mic don't work. Uh, yeah, the the economy might have been different back then, but poor is poor. Poor is poor. No, there, yes. are, there are different degrees of poor. No, no, no. Poor is poor. If I ain't got no money today, I, and I don't have no money back in nineteen hundred, I still poor. I don't have any money. No, the economy is set up to where uh, we just went through a depression, just e- equal to in the numbers, as the same as it was during the Great Depression, where people were jumping off buildings and everything else, but. Even in all that, you still have people have with cell phones, cable, and all these other um, amenities, electricity, the whole nine yards. But whereas you had people who had to be in soup lines and all these other kind of things, the difference then as opposed to now, they have more social. They have more social programs today than they did back then. They had to rely on the church to provide uh, extra clothing, food. That's where who funded most of the soup lines and things of this type of nature, and. So poor is not necessarily the same poor as it was then. Alvin, you agree with that? No. I don't either. I don't know what he's talking about. I have no idea. Because <laughs> the, the, the way the numbers line up, numbers yeah. can be deceiving. Yeah, they you can. can associate data to say what you want it to say. Yeah. Because especially in our number system, we only got nine digits. And you want to change the value of it, just put a zero behind it. Absolutely. But poor then is so much the same as poor now. But our poor today well, let me say it like this. If we're poor now, <laughs> and I don't think anybody in this room is rich, but I think we're better off than our parents were. Yes. But I don't think we could make it as well as they did with the less that they had. Right. Yes. This is almost so it's mentality. It's mentality. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's some people say, I got to have my cell phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That generation never had a cell phone right. to even wonder about having. Yeah. With, let alone... Phones in the house. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it was one phone in the entire building, mm-hmm. and it belonged to the landlord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you would have to, you know, ask to use that phone. Sure. In the 1930s, people killed themselves because they invested all they had. There was no security system. There was no. Uh, there was no that unemployment. Than what I just said. It was. It was a whole lot different than what you said. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. I mean, that is that's what I said. That is the biggest difference. The government did not have anything in place to go ahead and buffer anything. If the if the utilities company wanted to turn your heat off in the middle of January first, they can do that. Whereas now, at least in this city, 
they can't turn your heat off until the spring comes. Gotcha. You have you have more things to fall but you back. You didn't say that earlier. No, you didn't. I said the okay. <laughs>